Libra, happy birthday. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling good. Let's hop into your reading and see what messages I pick up on for you and your love interest, your romantic interest, um, how you two are feeling in the connection with each other. Keep in mind the um, reading can resonate in reverse. All right. And it can also come through for other relationships or connections, okay? Libra. Libra. How are you feeling, Libra, in this connection? Wow, this... This wanted to come out, um, but I wanted to put it back and get out the question first. So the Phoenix is how you are feeling in the connection with who this is. I think you're ready for a new phase. It says new phase on this card and um, a number of you. This is about some sort of reconciliation. OK, with this person. So you're ready for a new phase. You're ready for growth. You're ready for change. And a number of you, maybe you have completely changed your mind about what you want with who this is. Okay. Um, Libra, your person, Libra's romantic interest. Okay. You have the dragonfly. This also says... Well, it says change, um, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change and heal. Both of you have, uh, what I'm getting with both of you, Libra, is both of you are in a more healed space at this point in time. Um, whoever this is, this could be a mutable sign. Y'all know me and this fly <laughs> got an ongoing relationship. Um, <clears throat> so this could be a mutable sign I'm hearing. So Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sag. But I'm, I feel like you both are ready to move forward with one another, have some sort of conversation. Okay, let's get more cards. Your person may be feeling a bit like lighter about the situation with you. They're open to hearing, you know, what you have to say, Libra. Probably more flexible. Okay, whoever this is, they may be a bit more flexible now um, in the connection with you. More adaptable. All right, hold on. Okay, so you have space. I need more time to think. Reflection, yeah, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. And broken, I feel shattered about the situation. So it's funny, this is like my Four of Swords card. And that is your energy. It's Jupiter in your sign, Libra. It's like with you, you're in this place of like, I don't know where we're going. Um, but you're not in the same place emotionally, mentally, even spiritually, um, as you once were with who this is. You may need some more time. You may, you know, you're, you're looking at the situation. feel like you want something with who this is Libra, but you still need more time to, you're still, you're, you're still healing. I feel like you're in the last stages of healing. Okay. In this connection. Um, Libra's romantic interest. 
Okay, so you have chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Unexpected outcome, things didn't go the way I planned. Whatever, you know, happened with you too, Libra. They didn't expect things to go that way. But I'm also hearing too, like, maybe they also didn't expect feeling the way they do now, which is more lighthearted about you or more lighthearted about the situation with you. Oh my goodness, look, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> so yeah, this person, that'd be funny if they got the animal spirit, the dragonfly too. Um, hmm. So yeah, they definitely have this like dragonfly spirit. Be yeah, very... Yeah, they don't want to chase anymore. Um, whoever this is right now, their mind is kind of quick. Okay. Um, they could. I'm getting like an air moon. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius moon for who this is. With the moon is how you filter your emotions. So whoever this is has had like time to process their emotions about the connection with you. And um, they didn't expect things to go the, the way that they did with you. And um, they still feel like, you know, values is here. So they still feel like you all do have a lot of differences. However... They're, like if, if you if you told me that you and this person aren't speaking, they're like, I'm open to hearing from you, Libra. I'm open, open to hearing what you have to say, but they're not going to chase you down to hear what you have to say. OK. Well, speaking of animal spirit. Let's see. Clarify. Get out of here. Show me um, this person. Libra's romantic interest. Okay. The firefly. Well, close enough. <laughs> um, okay, so very like a lot of air did I just say I think I said it in my mind but whoever this is like I get a lot of air for them so Gemini Libra Aquarius okay it's, they have a dominant air placement um Firefly usually shows up where there's two there's okay like it's a very inspired type of energy. Um, this person is inspired, like feeling with feelings of like, I think Libra, if you know, I want to say this, but they're not attached to an outcome with you. Okay. Which is not a bad thing. It's just that's what I was getting with the flexible, mutable type of energy, okay? They are very kind of like go with the flow right now. And it may have taken them a while to get to this place, but that's what I'm getting with them right at this moment. I, I feel like I'm picking up on this, en this person's energy like right now because this is very like in the moment type of energy. So right now this person, they're thinking about you, but there's also... There are also like new things um, uh, that they're they're inspired to take like some sort of new direction in their life. Okay. Very imaginative, very creative. Oh, get out of here. Let me see. 
clarify. I think that new ideas or the idea of like moving in a new direction with who this is makes them feel better. It makes them like whoever this is, there's not a heavy energy with them. They're just open. They're open to new ideas. They're open to getting to know new people. Um, let's see. Libra. Hold on. Ah, Libra, you've got the cheetah coming up here. Um, mm, crocodile. But look, the phoenix. Okay, get out of here. You're having like a, an awakening, some sort of like big moment of clarity being like taking space away from who this is, Libra. And you are, you know, you are going through changes. You're. I don't know. I feel like the way you're looking at who this is has completely changed. Now, I feel for a number of you, if you're also showing up with the cheetah and the crocodile spirit, you are, mm, hold on. I think right now you're comfortable with moving in, um, going after or moving in a direction opposite of who this is and it, because it feels more comfortable. Hold on. I'm trying to get this fly y'all. <laughs> hmm. I think somebody else has caught your eye too. Um, I do. I feel like there is someone else. Cause whoever I'm picking up on this dragonfly, I think this is somebody from your past or, or, Hmm. Can be somebody new. Yeah, because they do feel very light. This can be a newer person. I just heard that like this. This could be a newer person for you, Libra. OK. And because, yeah, I'm getting like. There's someone potentially from your past who is giving you a chase with the cheetah and the crocodile. There's someone from your past that you still are entertain entertaining, entertaining, you know. Yes. That you still, that's why you need more time to think. Mm-hmm. You need more time to think because you're, you're, you're still wondering what's happening here with someone else. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Hmm. If it's not about like someone else, it's about a goal or career move. There's something else here that I think you're very focused on. Maybe that's what I'm getting. Like you're very, okay. They're saying, yes, there there's, there's something else career wise or goal wise, money wise, even that you're still folk. You're very focused on that has your, that is like taking up a lot of your energy. That's where maybe you feel like it's best to place your energy.
but with whoever this is, past or present, future, um, you're still, hold on, I'm looking at this card space, need more time to think. Let me ask about you. Hold on. Libra. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. That's my crocodile card. Eight of Cups with a Wheel of Fortune. Whoever this is, I think the reason why you have the Phoenix is you need more time because moving forward or engaging with this person, Libra, it's going to be like a major change in your life. It's going to require you, maybe for some of you it requires movement, you needing to move. It's going to require you leaving some something, someone, or somewhere behind. I think you're open to, you know, receiving messages from this person. You're open to receiving from who this is. Yeah, you're going through a lot of changes right now. How is... Okay, hold on. Well, well, they got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Libra, sorry about that. Um, I was asking how your person is feeling in the connection, and we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. So strong earth energy. I think the strongest sign I'm getting for you is Virgo, but this can also be a Taurus or Capricorn and we got air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, strong Gemini, strong Virgo, cause I'm getting mutable, but whoever this is, they feel like they know what they want. Um, I think this person for a number of you, cause I saw the five of wands. Oh, we got the Empress. You're definitely like, I will tell you this, Libra, you're, you are definitely like the one, like the one that they want. Okay. For sure. However, whoever this is, does they like, they do know their worth. They do know their value. They feel like they have a lot to offer. Um, this, this person is like, they want commitment but like they are the commitment type. I feel like they would like commitment with you. But I'm just getting like secure. I get a, a very secure feeling with who this is. Very secure within themselves. And um, they feel like they have what you want that and queen of pentacles is not going to chase. I will tell you that she's going to sit pretty. That's what I'm seeing. So also, it does. Yeah. It's a bit of a, like kind of an unbothered type of energy with the queen of pentacles. And I mean, she's just saying like, I know, I know my value. I, I know what I have to offer. This person may feel like I've shown you 
there it is. I mean, I've shown you me. This is who I am. I'm not, you know, I'm not changing. I am who I am. Um, I know what I want. And when you know what you want, Libra, after taking space and um, you can come and have a conversation with me. But there's something else here. I remember with the cheetah that you feel gives you more purpose, but your mind is starting to change about that. I see it. Your mind is starting to change about that. And, um, slowly I see you very open to who this is and what they're offering you with the six of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like for a number of you, this person gives me like an older vibe or just an old soul. Okay. Cause of that Capricorn energy, get out of here. All right, guys. So, oh, well, that's what I see. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, excuse me, continue this over on Vimeo and show you what I pick up on next with you and who this is, where you all are at. And what this person wants the relationship to be with you in this lifetime, what do they think the relationship will be with you in this lifetime? I'm going to pull the three to six month outcome I get with you two. I'm going to pull from the time Oracle deck, give you a timeline of when I see whatever you want to manifest with them, when I see that happening. And then we're going to pull your advice from the crystal spirits deck. And any other decks, if I need to show, you know, give you advice on how you're being um, guided to show up in this connection with who this is right now. So Libra, if you feel like that's going to be beneficial, then you can follow me over to Vimeo. The link is in the description, top of the comments. If this is where we part ways, happy birthday again. Love you all. I hope you enjoy your season and I'll see you soon. Peace.